It's officially fall and it's time for some beautiful fall makeup. Today's look, I'm calling a soft fall glam look. I love combining grays and dark browns together. They are a beautiful combination and I'm gonna show you how I create this look on my eyes and the rest of my face. I'm using Moonstone, Cashmere Haze, Granite, and Espresso eyeshadows in the Petite Palette. And on my lips, I'm using Supreme Hydrating Lipstick in Boho Plum. So let's show you how I put this together. So to begin, I'm using the Moonstone, which is the lightest eyeshadow, and I'm applying this light shimmer color under my brow bone and right here in the inner corner of my eye, kind of like in the bridge of my nose, just like that. Next, I'm going to be taking Cashmere Haze in the crease of my eye with my all-over shadow brush. This is a matte eyeshadow, and if you have mature skin, you're going to love this color. I like keeping my mattes in the crease and shimmers under my brow bone and on my lid only. This will help ensure my eyes don't look more aged. So if you are in that category, you will love, love, love this combination because it's a beautiful way to combine some mattes and shimmers. So cashmere haze in the crease. Next, I'm taking the darkest shade, which is called Espresso. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows. I'm using the same brush. You could also use your crease brush. I have a wide um, amount of space between my crease and my brow bone, so I have the ability to use this wider brush, but really it's personal preference. And I'm applying the Espresso over top of the Cashmere Haze, focusing more on the outer fourth of my crease. I'm not going as far over, um, and I'm just kind of pigmenting the color, not any further than right above my pupil. I'm just kind of tapping it in and I'm pulling it down and I'm going to blend all this with my Mary Kay blending brush next. So I just want to point this out to you because I hear a lot of women say when they put on makeup that it looks crazy and they stress out because they think they did something wrong. As you can see, this eye is well blended. And this eye is still in production. So don't be afraid of your eyeshadow. It's all about the blending part step in your um, process. So this is my all over blending brush, my eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm just taking it and blending down that darkest color to break up those lines. It's a nice big fluffy brush. So it does all the hard work for you. See? I'm gonna apply a little bit of the Cashmere Haze under my lash line to give me a little bit of a sultry, smoky look. And I'm gonna also follow up with that, the darker espresso color right over top of it along my lash line. And I'm gonna go ahead and circle it into my crease. I'm using the smudger brush, and this is gonna give me a little bit more of that smokier look by pushing some of that darker color into the crease of my eye and having a little bit more of a concentrated pigment with the smudger brush. You can see how I'm creating that concentration and you can kind of see the line going through the bottom of my lash line. And the final step to this eye look with the shadows is the granite. I'm gonna apply the granite, which is a little bit of a shimmer to it, just all over my lid. And this is going to give me a little pop of shimmer in a part of my eye that doesn't show the aging. And it's beautiful if you have hooded eyes because when you look down, you see the little bit of a shimmer. So now I'm going to finish this up with a little bit more blending and some mascara and some black eyeliner. Let me show you what I'm using. Now to create this soft fall glam look, I am using two different eyeliners today. I'm starting off by using the MK Black Pencil. This is a retractable pencil. And I'm just going right underneath my lash line, not my waterline. The best place to find this um, location is if you were to just hold your skin and your eye will pop up just slightly, you will be able to apply the eyeliner underneath your eyelashes. It's just going to give a real soft line. And what this does, it makes your lashes look thicker and it makes sure there's no gaps in between your skin and your eyelashes with your eyeliner and mascara combo. I love doing this. It makes your eyes look so much more open. 
Like I said, I'm using two eyeliners today. So the second eyeliner is the Mary Kay Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. It's a very skinny marker type tip. And I just go right on top of my lash line now, like a traditional line, and just follow my lashes and go all the way over into the inner corner of my lash. And this is a great way to really get all the way into the inner corner of your eye and keeping the liner thinner as closer to your nose that you get so you don't have a real dark, heavy look. And then if you wanna make it thicker on the outer edge, you certainly can do that or even do a little bit of a kick up. Now for mascara, since it's a soft fall glam look, I'm using a more glam mascara. I'm using the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. It has a much thicker wand, let me show it to you. And there's several different size bristles on this wand. So the more coats you apply, and the more you turn the wand when you apply it, the bigger and fuller your lashes will appear with this one. This gives more va va voom lashes. And so I'm just gonna do a couple coats of this on my lashes, uh, twisting the wand uh, to get all the different bristles through my lashes to give me more volume. And finally, I'm gonna finish my look off with my cheeks. I have one cheek color on, and it's just the Desert Rose. This is Desert Rose cheek color. It's a really pretty uh, color. It's not too pink, it's not too uh, bright, and I'm just gonna apply it through my cheekbone, and now I'm going to just tone it down with my All Over Powder Brush, just to kind of soften the depth of the cheek color and make sure it's the tone that you want. And my lips, we'll show you that color. And to finalize this look, I lined my lips first with Rose Lip Liner, and I applied the Boho Plum Supreme Hydrating Lipstick. And you can see there's already a natural shine to this lipstick because it's super hydrating, and I don't really need a gloss with it. So I'm sticking with just a lipstick today, and this is my soft glam fall look. It looks great on all skin tones. You can make it darker, you can make it lighter. They're colors that are beautiful with everything in your wardrobe. So if you're interested in this look, direct message me. I have a special for it today and I have a flash sale going on. And if you're interested in the details, direct message me and I'll send you the special.